It's often thought of to be, you know, beaks and feathers and feet, but that's really not the case. We're gonna take a whole bird and I'm gonna try to make some fun nuggets by hand. Basically the same thing the plant's gonna do at a grander scale. It's using 100% white meat. We need to go grind these down to make that beautiful little dinosaur shape. This might be the least efficient way <laughs> to get chicken into a nugget form. This is why plants exist and I'm really thankful for them now more than ever. So I've got a little bit of salt and then a touch of chicken broth. No starches, no fillers. We're doing the same kind of ingredients I would use at home or in a restaurant. This is actually a small version of the exact same piece of equipment that's gonna be in the plant making these. Now the plant is a lot better at this than I am to get these perfect shapes, but we're gonna give it a go. And then let's see what it did. We'll need to batter and bread these into our little batter mixture. We're just gonna let these guys get in the oil and dance around for a minute. Well, as you can see, they didn't hold together quite like we would like. Tastes like chicken. <laughs> if this was a little bit more controlled environment, we could keep the shape and the texture a little more consistent. There's, there's a lot of chicken going down this line, all hand portioned and, and hand trimmed. So they might be a little better than I am on that shoulder kind of particular. That's a clean looking cut. There's no skin at all in this product. No. And it just essentially, nothing but white meat goes into the box. It's absolutely it's the same thing you can do in your kitchen. It's just, you know, it's just on a bigger scale. That is way better looking than the stuff I made. There is no doubt. Then from that point, we run it through the breading system. It starts out with batter, run the batter through, then we run through the breader, and then we fully cook it. I think it's just a great process. Now look, I have a three-year-old daughter, and she loves the dino nuggets. Now this is the last step of the process. This is where we come in. I like to look at the meat to make sure that there's no holes in that inside the product. And then the second piece of that, I also sample it from a flavor texture standpoint. You know, part of what we embody as a company is make sure we send a wholesome product out to the customer. So this is work as well. I regretfully say that this might be uh, quite a bit better than what I made in the kitchen. But with the right team and the right technology behind you in the plant, you can get a really good consistent product. It's a good product. <laughs> Thank you.